Here are a few things to think about before you turn your primary residence into an Airbnb. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, it's Rosemary Lewis, your educator agent with eXp Realty. And today I am going to talk to you about changing your primary residence to become a short-term or a long-term rental and just a few things you want to think about before you do that especially if you are in the north dallas area but before we get into it y'all do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe to the channel that way every time i bring you real estate tips and just food for thought like this one today you will hear all about it and honestly from the bottom of my heart i absolutely loved when youtube before i became a real estate agent i was an elementary school teacher and this platform and your support allows me to continue to educate about a subject that I am so passionate about. So I am appreciative of you. I appreciate you all commenting. I appreciate your thumbs up and I am so grateful when you share the video. So please continue to do so and let's get into our topic for today. Over the past couple of years, different short-term rental companies um, have come to the forefront and a lot of people are taking advantage of the opportunity to turn their primary residence into a short-term rental or some are doing long-term rentals. So what I mean by that is um, if you're familiar with Airbnb or Verbo, VRBO, and different companies like that, what you can do is that if you have a space, you can actually put it on their website and they will advertise it for people who want to come in and use it on a short-term basis. This has been the new wave of travel, um, you know, for the past couple of years. And as it grows in popularity, what I see is a lot of homeowners who are choosing to either rent out their home part of the time or actually move upsides, downsides, whatever you, but keep their former primary residence and use it for investment purposes. Now, there are lots of benefits and there's lots of content to just show you exactly how to do that. But what I wanna to talk to you today is about a couple of things that you want to think about if you are considering doing this with your property. So I am a realtor in the far North Dallas suburbs. I am um, based out of Prosper, Texas, and I support all of the suburbs around there. And up here where I live, um, there are a lot of communities that are governed by HOAs. Now, for those of you who don't know, an HOA is a homeowners association and the homeowners association generally has um, guidelines in order, it, they have guidelines that all of the homeowners in the community must abide by. Now, HOAs are pretty much serious business. Not only do they have fees that you have to pay um, to, to make sure that you're keeping up with the amenities and the upkeep, but you also have to f follow their rules, you know? And a lot of times the rules are you can't paint your garage pink, you can't, you know, have 85 cars in front of your house. But what people don't know is sometimes the HOA actually have rules about using your property as either a short-term or a long-term rental. Many HOAs have a percentage of properties that they will only allow to be used for investment. And a lot of times it's a small percentage and the other difference would have to be occupied by the homeowner a certain percentage of time. Why am I telling you this? Is because I have seen situations where I've seen someone who was already, they didn't do all of the research, they didn't check in with the HOA, they invested in the Airbnb, they furnished the apartment or the home to the T, only for the HOA to shut them down because it was in direct violation with the HOA bylaws. So if you are considering using your property for investment purposes, trust me, it will save you a lot of time and headache to figure out where your HOA stands on that from the beginning to get approval for it instead of investing your time, energy, and money into a business that will not be sustainable and that they won't allow to continue. And I know what you're thinking. Some people are like, well, how will they know? How are they gonna know what we do? Trust me your neighbors will tell them, okay? I live in a neighborhood with an HOA and my neighbors notice everything. I mean, if a dog is out, if somebody left their ball at the, um, 
at the at the playground, if somebody, you know, is not walking their dog with a leash, they are going, they are lighting up the Facebook group and they are reaching out to the HOA. And honestly, that's what it's there for. So I don't want you to be slick and think that, hey, no one's gonna know, I'm gonna do this. And you might get away with it for a little while, but again, for the investment and the risk, and because it is your homestead, you don't wanna be in violation. Just do your due diligence up first, up front, and check and make sure that it will be okay. And while I say that to you, just in general, what I've noticed is that different cities, even, even areas that do not have an HOA, um, they are changing their laws around what they will allow for an Airbnb. So I know that there are some areas in Texas um, where you cannot have an Airbnb within certain proximity to some of our attractions like the Cowboy Stadium. So again, you wanna make sure even if the area that you're living in or that you have property in is not in an HOA, are there any city ordinances or guidelines that are against you having your own Airbnb or short-term rental? Again, this is gonna save you a lot of heartache and headache and also understand that um, the voters can change those laws, right? I just read an article about an area in Atlanta and they have really come down with some, or they're proposing some laws that are getting very strict on Airbnb properties. So there are plenty of business owners that are scrambling because they have tons of Airbnbs in the area. And based on the new laws that Atlanta has passed or they're proposing to pass, they won't be able to operate those businesses in those same ways. So just make sure that you are staying abreast and you understand what's happening legally, um, legally not only from an HOA perspective, but also from what the city will allow if you are looking for any investment properties or turning your homestead property into an investment property. Because I'm your home girl, I definitely want you to seek out any and every opportunity. That's the beauty of real estate is that you can do a lot of things with it, but I also don't want you to waste time and money. So make sure that you do your due diligence, okay? Now, if you made it to the end of this video and you are not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing with your life? Yo, go ahead and subscribe. And while you are at it, leave a thumbs up and a comment. Like, what are your thoughts about Airbnb? Are you looking to, and I'm saying Airbnb, but I mean all the short-term rentals. Are you interested in doing a short-term rental? Do you have one? And have you been affected by an HOA or a city ordinance? I would love for us to rap about it. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye y'all.